Now that we've done our true black strip, we know that it takes this enlarger 10 seconds to get to true black. So we can create our contact sheet now. Set our timer to 10 seconds. I'll go ahead and take my piece of photo paper. Make sure the light sensitive side is up. Make sure that it's going to be within the bounds of where the light hits. I've verified that my enlarger is set the same as it was when I made my true black strip. As I grab my negatives, I'm just looking at them to make sure they're right side up. Uh, I'm also making sure that the shiny side of my film is facing up. And that would mean the emulsion or what had the emulsion or the dull side of the film is facing down. Otherwise, my pictures will be inverted uh, and mirrored, which we don't want. I'm also being very careful as I lay my film down to make sure that it's spaced nicely. It's all even and perfect. Once I get my film laid down on here, I can go ahead and take my piece of glass. I'll set it down gently. I don't want my film to move. Once I have everything laid down, I'll go ahead and run this for 10 seconds. Now that it's done, I can just lift gently, lift the piece of glass up out of the way. I gently slide my negatives off and then I'll take this piece of paper and run it through the development process. Now that I've got my contact sheet developed, what you'll see is that I have a nice dark black around the edges. And then as I look at my negatives, I'm going to use this to tell if the negative is in focus. I can also look at composition on the negative. I can also look at exposure. And so as I look at all these negatives, I see some that are correctly exposed. I see some that are maybe slightly overexposed and maybe slightly underexposed. And this helps me decide when I go to make a print, am I going to need to hit this with a little more light or a little less light? It also is going to help me decide which one of my negatives I want to enlarge. And so on this specific sheet, I think I'm going to choose to make an enlargement of this Bozeman High, the front. And the reason I'm choosing it is because it's, it's nice and crisp focus. It also is exposed correctly. And so that's how we make a contact sheet and why we make a contact sheet. Thanks for watching.